Let's t tell us a little bit, first of all, how did you get into this? What's your background in, in, in my battery background? technology? My background in battery technology is I've been involved in uh, lithium-ion batteries since uh, 1995, so uh, going on 13 plus years now. Okay. I was with a company in Denmark called Danionics that was doing lithium-ion polymer batteries for portable electronics. Okay. And uh, so um, we got into, you know, it was a startup company. Um, came in with, I came in with the same, uh, the same time as the first venture capital uh, money. Um, we successfully uh, went out and got contracts from um, the likes of Compaq and, and Apple uh, and delivered batteries uh, to them. Okay. Uh, and then scaled up from uh, zero production to several hundred thousand uh, uh, per month. Uh, and then we also took the company public um, uh, as well. And uh, <clears throat> then I got involved with um, Enerdel in 2005. And uh, my link to Enerdel is just like our chief operating officer, Naoki Oda, our, our link to, uh, to Ener Ener1 and Enerdel is actually through Itochu, the uh, large Japanese uh, trading house. Uh, that's a preeminent uh, and very prominent uh, player uh, that's very active in the uh, lithium-ion industry as, uh, as an in intermediate intermediary and uh, contact and uh, supplier uh, or contact to the suppliers in Japan uh, for both of materials and equipment. So um, that's uh, that's uh, that's my link to this. And uh, this is um, you know we've always uh, thought about the automotive industry as the ultimate um, area or the ultimate market for lithium-ion batteries, and uh, we're glad to see that it's. Uh, uh, really happening right now. So. Good. So you are now working on a project with Think Correct. to provide them with lithium-ion packs. So tell us a little about how that evolved and kind of where that program's at. Yeah, I mean we uh, we got into our uh, into the uh, agreement and uh, collaboration with Think uh, about uh, 13, 14, uh, almost 15 months ago now actually. Um, and we've been uh, very busy on the development side. We've delivered the prototypes, uh, confirmation prototypes, and we're not now in the middle of delivering the, uh, the pre-production units, do you think? So uh, we're going through a lot of testing and evaluation of, of the packs. So everything looks uh, very good. And uh, we're on track and on schedule to uh, be in production with these batteries uh, here in the first quarter of 2009. So we're on a busy schedule, as you can imagine. Uh, it's coming down to the wire, as right. most things do in this yeah. industry. Yeah. Uh, it's very exciting. We're building up, uh, you know, significant uh, uh, production uh, capacity um, in Indianapolis uh, at our plant there, as well as uh, we have two plants there now. We have uh, the Indianapolis facility that's uh, making cells, and then the Noblesville facility, which is 10 minutes away from the, the cell uh, facility um, that is uh, going to be doing the battery packs or assembly of the battery packs. Okay. And then uh, I guess the other exciting news uh, uh, about us uh, was um, the acquisition by Enter One of uh, Enertech right. in Korea. And uh, you know that is the third largest lithium mine manufacturer in Korea. Um, and, do they uh, make cells? Do they? They may, they've been making the cells uh, for us uh, according to our specifications and our requirements. Uh, and uh, we've been working with them for well over a year. Uh, we're extremely pleased uh, with uh, the quality of their work and, uh, and, uh, and the cells that we've gotten from them. So we had uh, about a year's worth of uh, experience with them uh, when we were, had the opportunity to um, acquire the company. And uh, there's a lot of good things from that. I mean, apart from, you know, their uh, their experience, our experience base, base with them is also that they, uh, they're the design of their cells that they've been working on historically is, is a stack design which matches exactly what we do. So there's a lot of synergy there. Um, they are also, they, they came out of the uh, magnetic tape manufacturing of uh, Sehan, uh, which is one of the large or large conglomerates in, in, in uh, Korea. So they have the electrode experience, which is crucial for lithium ion. Uh, so there's a lot of things that uh, made that a, a very good strategic fit for us to, um, to have them as a part of our family right. at the NR1, uh, NRDEL level. So, so we're very excited about that. Good, so they're gonna provide you with the cells for the packs that you yep. also got. So, so how much of the Cell manufacturer relate to the say you look at a pie. How much would be coming from the Indianapolis plant, and how much would be coming from the, the Korean plant? Well, it's that you know that hasn't been decided as such. But if we talk about capacity-wise, 
Um, the lights just went out. Yes, yeah, yeah, they must be telling us something. <laughs> something is. Now they, um, the uh, the uh, in, the Indianapolis uh, plant will have a capacity of about. Um, uh, if we talk about, you know, on the EV side, uh, probably up to, depending on the configuration of the packs and such, you know, up, upwards of uh, 25, 30,000 packs. Um, so, we'll, we'll, including cell manufacturing. Right. While the Korean side will probably have about uh, 15,000 on the cell level from there. So they have, they have two coders. We have uh, one uh, advanced coder uh, that's installed in Indianapolis okay. now. Uh, we'll probably uh, proceed to getting a second one at some point in time in, in 09, but that's not been finally locked right. in yet. So and it depends on the size of the yeah. bank order. So imagine. yeah, and you can see, you know, the split will be, uh, you know, the, uh, today if we look at the c capacity, you could expect that uh, you know it will be a split of about, you know, two thirds, one third type of thing. So. Okay. Good. Uh, beyond the Think Project, yep. what what, uh, what are your expectations there? Yeah, good. Uh, well, we're we're part of a public company, so I can't. We haven't made any more official announcements, yeah. except, of course, we've announced that we've uh, are delivering um, a couple of uh, packs that are going to be going into some uh, plug-in hybrid uh, vehicles that are going to be uh, doing some uh, interesting tests over in Europe, and that we've also delivered another large uh, EV pack to uh, to a tier one, uh, also. Um, Overseas, and uh, so we're very excited about that. Those are, I think, are our stepping stones to to some bigger things. Uh, that's at least what we believe. Um, and other than that, I think it's it's an extremely exciting time. So um, it is, you know, turbulent times. No no question about that in the automotive industry. Um, but uh, I I'm very encouraged by what we see in terms of the activity levels and the number of uh, programs and interest that we see from uh, automotive OEMs and tier ones. So. We uh, believe it's an exciting time we're, we're heading into and are in the midst of some. Great.